<laughs> oh no, you shook it so hard, you broke its neck. Are we live, man? Yep. Episode number 27. Seven. Holy shit. We are currently sitting. You might be thinking, what's sad? That set looks a bit different. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, sh- Direct the mic. Direct it. Get off me, pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey, it's better than nothing. It's a yeah. welcome. It's, <laughs> it's a, a welcome. welcome. And it's welcome. A welcome. Because we are in new home. This is our new home. And it's fucking the best Dude, home we've ever had. It's fun just coming here. We're still setting it up. It's been a crazy week yeah. trying to film. We haven't really filmed much. We've just set this week aside to set the house up. But moving the moving days, they did get a bit sorry, Matt. We did yeah. get a bit silly, We did didn't film, we? I guess, technically. Cause yeah, we, you filmed a lot of me getting fucked. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. We're yeah, Anyway, uh, the video might be out right now on social media. If not, it'll be out next week. But yeah, we mess with Matt Brown a little bit and we have to sit down, make some house rules and, and see where you draw the line, et cetera. Et yeah, cetera. Well, I, I need that. I told James, I 100% need a meeting yeah. where we just decide where the boundaries of the house because are. Because Michael immediately went and destroyed your bed head, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, no, well, don't ruin the video. Or the video already out? I think I so. Yeah. I think, yeah, sorry. And the clothes, I guess. Yes. Like clothes, yeah, I'm sorry about the that. The clothes story. are fine. It's... um. But yeah, the bed was anyway, trapped him. Anyway, and soaked him. We haven't Sorry. been filming much. We've just been setting this house up, and fuck me, it's it's a we'll, we'll do a house tour eventually, and it's it's just it's ma- it's like five bedrooms. It's how much land? Like two acres? I don't know. It's like two or three acres. We have a pool. It's like the first nice house that we've ever sort of had. So Michael will be living here and at his girlfriend's. Matt will be living here full time. And I'll, me and James will be coming here Monday to Friday and obviously weekends. And I'm sure we'll stay here a lot too because we've got some bedrooms set up. And fuck you, man. This is so fuck off, cunt. Oh, we thought about even having a Twitch room today. Yeah, yeah we- that's a good idea. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bringing that that's back. One that really- Brown's gaming. Yeah. No, Brown's gaying. We'll go under the fully actual banner, maybe. Or, or Marty and Michael. Brown Either game. Way, we'll just keep it going. Brown game. Brown game. No one's going to subscribe to so Brown true. game. So true. All right. We'll Brown's cancel, game. Cancel the Twitch room then. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to build the set more, aren't we? There's yeah. going to be a tire swing yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you might be thinking, fuck, you had a chance to fully do this setup. We're going to, this, this set will probably get a little bit cuter. It will change and evolve. We're going to have things behind us. It's very bland at the moment. But you may see next to the brown, we have a bare mannequin doll with some Manscaped undies on. Represent. Fuck, he's but ripped. <clears throat> we have decided that it's time to build a new Equifton. And this is last resort. If Brown does not find, which he will, a bachelor Brown that he will marry at the end of this season, then this will be second best and you must fuck it. Live on camera, Matt. Now, this is our old mannequin from our series, Which Sport is the Scariest? I can't remember the fucking thing's name. Uh, it starts with H. Um, Hermit? No. Fucking. Herbie? Hermordor? Some fucking... S- Hamish? No. Um, it's gone. Yeah, someone Con- remind someone, us. Yeah, can someone write in the comments what mm. its name was? Or even Connor, if you could somehow magically have the... Oh, you don't know the name. Anyway, sorry. So basically... At the end of the season, or what we can do is have each week or when whenever you guys can, send something that you want us to put on. Could be could be hair, equipment. could be skin, some teeth. Even a bit like your jizz, we could throw the jizz on it. Whose job's that? I'll <laughs> that, do that. That'll be your job, Matt. It's your creature. Fuck off. It's your creature, Brown Town. And then <laughs> last, like worst case scenario, at the end of the season, you have a wife slash husband slash mannequin. You live here with us now. You fucking idiot, Matt. <laughs> he has no idea. Are it's you? already becoming terrifying. <laughs> it's so dark here. Yeah, it was, he has no we trust. had to have time away from each other for a bit. 
after the f- a few pranks that were had uh, this week. The, oh, he was driving up the driveway and he did a, a loop around and I was just like peering out through the curtains and he thought that I was filming and he got real sus. He thought you were hiding yeah. to scare him. <laughs> he and, found me so- and then I couldn't find you because you were laying on your special seat. <laughs> he was just lying there doing nothing and I made it seem like you were up to something. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> lying, paranoia. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, send us shit and we'll add it to the, the new Equifton slash it starts with a H, a H his mm-hmm. name. Hamish? It's where it's Hamish. No, it's not. It's something anyway, with H. And then we'll have some for Matt to fuck at the end of the season. Um, also, or Isla. Also, Ooh. yeah. Well, we've got to work out. How's that developing since it's been a week now? Have you been talking to her? No. We've got to pick your top five. Let's do that next top, episode. No, they, Remind dude, me. Top five is way Remind too me. hard. We gotta th- I can't even five. pick top and, three. And we'll put a poster up I think or it's something. Top three. No, I know. We'll just have... He picks the top three. Oh, no, we want to knock him off the yeah, top Yeah, we want a top five. I can't even pick top five. Yeah. You, that's look, your... No, well, we don't remember the Just sit down names. and go through you it, gotta, okay? You got to remember them and For we got to put... It has to, it has you to can't just them. talk to a girl and then forget them like they're nothing. Yeah, you can't just ghost pig. a girl. You can't just ghost a girl. Stop being so sexist. Oh, oh I've oh, talked to her. That's fuck. done now. Oh, 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 next. Oh. Where's me next talk? Disgusting. Chauvinistic. Anyway, we're getting uh, there. We, next week, we're gonna have some special guests, the Misfit Minds boys. They, they're these young YouTubers from the Goldie, and I've started watching their shit, and they're fucking funny dudes. They dude. do some epic shit too. Yeah, I swear they, they do. They put Shami like concerts, and they put Shami on billboards. Yeah, they sneak into really big events. So we're gonna have them on next week, and just that'll be the first time meeting them. I've just started liking their content, and I was like, these these cunts are gonna blow up. I reckon. I'm calling it, man. We've had some fucking stress, uh, some stress this week as well. We've had, we've been having some technical issues on the website with the la- latest upload. God, that is so shit. Mm, sorry. Fucking, when you start a website, you don't, you don't anticipate these things. You think, oh yeah, we just make videos and then put them out. Easy, no worries. No, there is so much to it. So many weird things that you can never account for. And fuck me. We're, so don't sign up to our website at the moment. I'm just going to say it. Just wait until we sort this shit out. I signed up. I couldn't watch that video, so I unsubscribed. You fucking you liar. <laughs> you fucking liar, Matt. But you fucking for the people lying, who can't... are on our website, thank you and sorry. Yeah, well, don't worry. We're going to fix this. It we will promise. And But I, know, you can, I can imagine how annoying it would be. You want to just fuck it. You pay for it. You want to watch our vids and then the latest upload. It's the new the new player could be the problem. Apparently, it's the latest in technology and all this shit and it's fucking what everyone's using. But it's, it's just not working as well as we thought. So we may switch back to the old one if after we run a few more tests, it's still fucked. But it's just the latest video only. Everything else is totally fine, but it's just we'll see what happens on this Actually, Sunday so when still we still sign it. up because you've still got a massive load of back yeah, well yeah there's over 200 vids you can fucking watch gun <laughs> yeah but sorry for people <laughs> who haven't seen that yet yeah sorry and don't worry it's like one and, third and we got the new website coming soon too so we're hoping that all those issues will be gone in, and uh, to be honest I think we're launching in like I'm going to say two months isn't it the end of the year yeah that's what they were saying uh, but the development won't take that long yeah okay so then we just need to start moving people over to the yeah. new website but there's a new website coming it's far better than that fucking old thing that we have mm. and yeah so it's looking up but just bear with us for the new upload and thank you for bearing with us and what's the video that's out right now what do we got coming out this week we got fucking something pretty hot eh? let me quickly check Oh, it's the blindfolded stick fight. So oh. right now, out on the website, the blindfolded stick fight, where Michael and I blindfold ourselves and we go in a ring and we use sticks to like bash they, each other. They slowly get up in thickness or like non-breakable. Round by round, round, they get thicker, the sticks. And it's fucked, man. Oh, yeah. It was a scary video. Was a, there was a knockout. Well, not really a knockout, but a, a TKO. Yeah, shit, a TKO. Man. But anyway, so that's been our week. There's been a lot fucking going on. Was there anything else I need to shit talk about? Oh, yeah. So Misfit Minds boys on um, next week for a cheeky little interview. Plus, also, we're running a comment competition. <laughs> Don't forget, at the end of the season, we're going to pick one comment at random from the entire season to win $1,000. We'll do it live while we're filming. So... It's co- the more times you comment, the more chances you have of winning. You comment 100 times, you've just increased your chances by 100 times, cunt. So get commenting. You can comment whatever it is. What A full stop or a fucking pardon or a sorry or a could win you $1,000. It just makes sense to put some time into this, cunt. Yeah. 
And there has been people doing that. Matt's so gone. they will probably win. Yeah, we had 1.7k comments on a uh, on podcast like two weeks ago. That's our record. Yeah, I think it is. That's fucking nuts for considering the views that they're on at the moment. Anyway, guys, we got a jam-packed podcast. We got Lying to Lockie, which we have already filmed. We had to film it earlier in the day. That'll be injected um, in the middle of the podcast. We're Lying to Lockie. I'm not going to tell you if it was Very successful cool. or not, but fuck me. The lie is trying to convince him that his car is stolen. All right. And then we got prank call, black book, all the rest of it. All right. Fucking here we go, dogs. Here we fucking go. Sponsors These, first. this podcast, right? It's fucking um, brought to you by Manscaped, right? Now, these cunts, right, they um, look after you, right? If you're an ugly dog cunt, you got fucking whiskers coming out of your fucking neck and shit, your fucking forehead, right? Go to manscaped.com, use our discount code fully actual 20 you get 20% off, right? You get straight back in your bank account, right? No, 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 no. They got all the fucking latest gips and jack and gadgets, bro. You shave your balls in the shower. You f- you shave your fucking... You can, so? you can shave in the shower. You got you got creams and all do's and gadgets and nose hair trimmers and fucking have a look. Manscaped.com. Fully actual 20 for the discount code. Just have a look. It's also for women. It it is also for women. <laughs> if you're a woman, go to manscaped.com and use our discount code woman and you too can rub ball lotion on your testicles. <laughs> Man scraped. <laughs> Anyway, that's our sponsor. And of course, the other sponsor is the University of Markle, where we have a website that doesn't load the latest video. And it's awesome. <laughs> it's such a good video and you can't watch it. So why wouldn't you go to our website? There's a 21 day free trial where you can sign up and you can watch that video not load for you for free for 21 days. <laughs> then after that 21 days, if you decide that not watching that video not load is awesome, you can stay on and pay. Mind you, in three weeks, that video will be able to be <laughs> so you will get to see that one plus two more extra ones there are over 200 videos on there and there it's our most fucked up crazy shit man there's some fucked up crazy shit that we do and it's disgusting and it's i was quite high last night and i started panicking thinking what have we done because yeah. of some of those videos yeah i can see that <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move right along hmm. Did you know that I found my diary last night as well? My old diary? Oh, yes. When you were a fucking well, little, little schoolboy German diary. thing, kid. I, I don't, they're not in like chronological order or anything, but um, yeah, I, there's a few more excerpts there. So, Did you have a read? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll read one today. Um, Is I, it written in English <laughs> or German? <laughs> well, it's written in broken German, but I've translated it to English. Oh, I would love to hear it in yeah, German Yeah, I'm pretty too. excited. I won't but, lie. Yeah, fuck. Okay. But anyway, um, on this day, Matt Brown, he comes in, he researches, and he looks back in history and picks a day today, whatever the date today is, and he goes back in history and finds a, a crazy event that's happened and researches and researches, and this is it. On this day in 1988, the singer Seal scraped a fox's snout off with a brick while he was on LSD. When he sobered up, he saw that what he had really done was peel the skin off of his dick with a potato peeler. Seal went to emergency and they had to use strips of skin from his face to attach to his cock. That's why his face looks like that. Seal chose his cock over his face. His cock now has face skin on it. And that is toxic masculinity, you asshole. I'm Matt Brown and I'm a feminist. I stand with you. <laughs> That's fucked up. I always wondered why he's uh, um, that that stand sc- with you. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a like a political thing at the end there, man. Oh, oh my god, that was wow. So he he literally thinks with his dick, sort of, or he faces with. Well, his he dick. chose his dick, and and yeah. it made me think after reading that, what would you choose, a face scar or a or a cock fuck? It's like FaceTime. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because you. Because your face is like what everyone sees, but your cock is what you pump with If once your face lures them in. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, would it still work? I don't know. It, it, might, it just might look like it's got third degree burns all over it. 
Yeah, fuck. I'd, I'd probably go. Oh. You'd, no, you'd probably go with the the like yeah the burnt dick over the burnt face. So I was watching uh, Joe Rogan interview Andrew Here Schultz, comedian, and they were talking about Harvey Weinstein. You all know who he is, mm. right? I so heard this too. If, did you hear about his dick? Mm. Who's Harvey's dick? Club. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein's dick. Apparently, he has. He has this like a uh, hole in it. It's like um, it's oh, not gangrene, no. but it's similar to gangrene because because uh, he couldn't get an erection, he would uh, do the thing where you inject into it, oh, and um, the needles were dirty, and it got an infection. And he got and an he, infection, yeah, he's and he's got a dick hole in his dick. He's slowly eating away. It's very apparently it's quite common. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, fucking who's the, we won't say his name, but that dude that yeah. he just injects his dick I know, constantly. I know. After taking tons of pills, he like can't get hard, so he just injects bang hard. Uh, not anymore. If, He's completely sober now. But yeah, yeah, but imagine fucking oh, putting a needle in your dick. How deep do you have to put it in there? Yeah, apparently it might not be from the needles. It's just the uh, the little cut itself. Um, Probably wouldn't be that hard to, to needle a dick though. You just put in the soft bit near the near the base. I think they go yeah, up maybe under the, the ball, base, but like under fuck, the balls. Imagine the going oh, under the balls is oh, fucked. You fucking fuck. That's where with? they're going. Oh, oh really? Well, remember imagine going down can't. the pee hole. But remember Kenny Ooh. versus Spenny, where he got an injection to make his dick not feel anything. So the the hot cousin couldn't give him an erection. First one to get an erection loses. So in that, he gets an injection. And I swear to God, they go under the balls to make him. Okay. Well, there you go. Anyway. anyway. You know a lot about that because you researched it. Anyway, so that's on this day. All right. Now it's time for Michael's Bible. And Michael, um, over our uh, period off at the end of last year, decided he would write all of his wisdom down in one book. Michael's Bible. While he's reading this, he prefers to be referred to as Bezos, not Jesus. And Michael is his, his, his. This is basically his Bible. Do you understand? Fuck's sake, cunt. It's got Listen. a yin and yang in it. Holy shit. That's actually accurate. It's to scale. Sort of like a smiley face one. Man, if you could see that. Okay. He never cries. It's fucking good. Yeah, it's because it's dead. You killed it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, this is chapter 100 and a time ago, a prophet's tale. One night at a small bar in Laos, a boy whose father owned the bar taught me the simplest and greatest prank I've ever seen. For about five hours straight, we pranked people by making a Coke can magically lift off the ground by tying a fishing line around it and throwing it over a tree branch. Every time a person would walk past the tree, we would yank the line and the Coke can would lift up, scaring the shit out of them. Like some people fully thought ghost shit was happening. Me and the boy would piss ourselves every time. Now and then people would get very aggressive because they didn't like the way we were laughing at them and they got, when they got the scared. When they got the scared, okay? <laughs> it was seriously one of the best nights of my life. Sorry. Also remember is it is spelled exactly the same backwards as it is normal. Really? I think. Remember. It is too. Holy shit. Sort man. of. It sort of is. Yeah, it sort of is exactly the same backwards. That's a true story of what you just said. Yeah. That is a true story. It's, uh, and from, you wrote it in the Bible because it gave you such wisdom. That's Well, story. so you know how they they like write Muhammad or like um Moses parts the sea and shit. It's pretty racist, but yeah. Michael pranks people. Yeah, that. With the coke so, can. With, and the kid taught me that. So, which shows that the best pranks in the world come from children. It's so racist. Sorry. Uh, all right, guys. I've translated an excerpt from my diary that I found on the ground. And here it is. Okay. Uh, diary entry. Number 5087. Today I slipped over <clears throat> in front of an assembly full of students. My long neck made my head whiplash fast into the hardwood floors. <laughs> the students and teachers all laughed together and started chanting, Long neck German! Long neck German! <laughs> it was a pretty good day. Oh, <laughs> that's real. That's all real shit. Is that real? <laughs> that's why you're sensitive about your neck. Shut up. Your hearts, as they call it in the- Hearts. Hey, shut up about that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I used to walk around like this at school. You'd shrink it. Yeah, I'd shrug all the time and my traps got so big, my mum had to put my pet dog down. Oh, 
Ooh. Anyway. It's it's normal-ish now. My body's slowly turning into neck. <laughs> Hults. I am nearly Hults. <laughs> I am nearly Hults. All right, you f- oh, fuck. fucking fucks. Here okay. we go. Can we make sure that that flilly... I'm just going to... Yeah, yeah, I'll have a look. And I think, wait, let's do bong break before we... Yeah, 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 yeah. Bong, 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 break. We'll be right back with Matt's Black Book. And we're back. All right, guys. Like I said, it is time for Matt's little black book. Let's get brown. Let's get brown. Let's, let's get, get brown to business. And oh. this is a book where Matt has detailed every single sexual experience that he's ever had in his life, and he's written them in great detail in this book. And from so far, from what I can see, he's mostly fucked corpses, animals, and men. There's some girls in there. Some. Same thing. All right. Let's see what we have today. All right. So a bit of a recap. So as you know, Matt's a VIP in hell, but he gets fucked to death by Satan daily. So he's keen to get out. All right. Okay. Close my eyes. Have number 63. <laughs> I sat up with the taste and smell of Satan's cock in my mouth and my asshole pulsed with pain. I power vomited Satan's spunk all over a passing creature. I can't go on like this. It was time to get out of hell. I shook my body like a wet dog and felt determined. I power walked to the VIP castle and kicked the door open. The sound of the raging party hits me. Yeah! I immediately see Julian dipping his testicles in and out of Princess Diana's open mouth. Robin Williams was being sucked off by Box Boy's career next to him. I can't get distracted again. I scan through the party and try and spot him. He's still not here. I power walk around the perimeter. Still no Hitler. Where the fuck is he? I see Olivia Newton-John standing on her own in the corner and I approach her. Hey, have you seen Hitler? Hitler? What? I just got here. What exactly is this? This is hell. I recommend you get as fucked up as you can on drugs to make Satan fucking you to death bearable. This this is hell? Wait, wait, what? What about Satan? Please, this has to be some sort of mistake. I'm a good person. I don't shut up. I turn and storm off. I realize I haven't looked in the bathroom yet. I run in and sure enough, standing there, I see Hitler and Sean Connery snorting cocaine together. Finally, Brown. I have been vetting for you. Hitler offers me a line of coke. No, no, not for me. I need to stay sober for this. Now, how can we get out of here? Okay, okay, straight to business, Mr. Brown. I love it. (laughs) The information I'm about to tell you did not come from me, okay? And first you must agree to something before I tell you. (laughs) Okay, what is it? I will explain exactly how to get out of hell. But I want you to let me have you once after I explain. You want want to, to have me? But why? Because, Mr. Brown, you are the most beautiful man I have ever seen. Your presence alone makes my noodle hard. I look down and see Hitler has a powerful erection. Sean Connery looks on nervously and does a three gram line in one go. I started thinking, being halved by Hitler once is better than being halved by Satan daily for eternity. You have a deal, Hitler. We shake hands firmly. Now, how do I escape hell? Okay, first, you need demon powers. And the only way to obtain demon power is is by having a demon. Once you have a demon, its powers are transferred onto you. Once you have those powers, you have the tools to defeat Satan. A demon? They're incredibly powerful. How can I ever have a demon? If I were you, I would choose the weakest demon available. One you have a chance against. Weak demons? Is there such a thing? Yes, Mr. Brown. 
The one who uses that toilet. Hitler nods towards the disabled toilet. <laughs> you will know him once you see him. <laughs> he is the only demon that goes to that toilet to do poopos. Good luck, Mr. Brown. Hitler then grabs Sean Connery's ass and they both left. Still slightly confused as to who Hitler meant, I walk into the disabled toilet and hide behind the door. My heart was racing so fast it made a humming sound. I take a deep breath and start to focus for the battle of a lifetime. I wait and I wait. Every time the toilet doors opened, my balls constricted with anticipation. Hours went by and I started getting, getting concerned. Surely Satan will be here to have me soon. Then I heard what sounded like rolling wheels. I pressed my soft body right up against the wall of the toilet, flattening myself like a blue-tongued lizard. The wheeling got closer and closer. The wheeling slowly made its way into the disabled toilet. I hid behind the door until this demon was all the way inside. Then BANG! I slammed the door shut and locked it behind me. Then there, sitting in front of me, was none other than Stephen Hawking's! What are you doing? This is the disabled toilet, and you look fully able. Stephen Hawking's? You're, you're a demon? Stephen Hawking's remained silent, staring at me with his munted-looking face. Who told you that? He finally asks. It doesn't matter, but I am sorry for what I'm about to do. I grab Hawking's by the throat and lift him out of his wheelchair easily. I pull him into me and tongue at his teeth and the crevices on his face. He tasted like salt-crusted fish. His limp body dangled as I held him, and with my other hand I undo his pants. I kick his wheelchair out of the way and bend Stephen over the toilet with his ass facing me. My dick wasn't even hard. I had to thumb it into Stephen's ass. Once inside, my flaccid cock slowly began swelling. I couldn't believe how easy this was. <clears throat> then I felt a hand on my dick. I looked down. Not so fast, sir, old chap. Stephen had turned his head and had grabbed my dick to stop it swelling. What? How is this possible? Look, mate, I'm going to have to tell you my deepest, darkest secret now, and then I'm going to have to kill you for good. You won't even exist in hell anymore. I don't actually have that LAS disease. I can walk and I can talk perfectly fine. I'm really just really fucking lazy. I woke up one day and couldn't be fucked walking. So I said it was hard to walk and they got me a wheelchair. Then people kept talking and talking to me and I couldn't be fucked talking back one day. So I pretended that I couldn't fucking talk anymore. Everyone did everything for me and that's exactly what I wanted. Laziness is one of the seven deadly sins, sloth you see. So I ended up here, anyway. I'm gonna kill you now. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. His true voice was truly shocking. All along, Stephen Hawking's wasn't sick. He was just really lazy. So even his face muscles were drooping. So lazy. Unbelievable. Stephen pulled my flaccid cock out of him and stood and turned around. He punched me in the face and my head banged against the wall. I fall to the floor and Stephen starts booting me in the body and face. You dirty fucking pig! Yelled Stephen. He was still incredibly strong despite his small frame. I tried multiple times to stand but his kicks were so powerful I managed to grab onto one of his legs and hold on for dear life. Then I see Julian walk into the bathroom. Julian! You have to help me! Ha, fucking Matt, Matty! What the fuck are you doing here, cunt? Stephen Hawking is trying to kill me! <laughs> Julian's face turns serious and he sprints at Stephen. He pulls out a can of spray paint and starts graffitiing Stephen's face. Stephen clutches at his face and screams. I grab Stephen's other leg and pull him to the ground. I remember that Julian too is a demon and so he's strength must match Stevens. Hold him, Julian. I'm gonna fuck his little ass. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Fucking ice, Matty. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Julian grabs at Stevens arms and pins them to the ground. Stop, Julian! You don't know what you're doing! I'm a deb whack! I plunge my elbow straight into Stephen's face before he can finish his sentence. I'm rock hard now and quickly guide my little brown deep into Stephen's ass. As I fuck with my hips, I strangle Stephen hard with my hands. <laughs> and Julian continues to hold his arms down. <laughs> fuck, he's strong for a disabled guy, eh? <laughs> or give me a turn when you're done, but Julian clearly still didn't know Stephen's secret that he is a demon. The head of my cock sprouts two more small cocks. 
cocks while I fuck. The small cocks burrow deep into Stephen's body in opposite directions. There was no escaping me now. My eyes bulged as I realised I was going to win. I slowed my fucking and changed to deep, slow, long thrusts. Stephen's face was blue from my choking now and his eyes were filled with panic and blood. I lean down while I'm fucking him and suck on his bottom teeth. Then I suck on his tongue. I suck harder and harder. I suck it so hard it rips and I swallow it. I felt my balls start to vibrate. It was nearly time. Stephen was still fighting hard, but Julian was far too strong. I start fucking short, fast little fuck thrusts and as I mince, I scream into Stephen's ear. Ah! My mince cascades from my cock and two small cocks and starts filling every part of his body. My mince enters his bloodstream and turns his heart into a cream donut. I stare into his eyes and watch the life leave his body. Then... Stephen's corpse vomits directly onto my face. The vomit enters my mouth and I feel my body absorb it. It was Stephen's powers being transferred to me. What the fuck was that? Was that demon power? Asks a confused Julian. Stephen was dead and my ejaculation was done. I detach my little brown and release Stephen's crushed neck. My mince foamed out of his mouth, ears and eyes. I felt different. I felt powerful. Yes, Julian, I'm a fucking demon now. Oh, holy fuck. Yeah, time to see Satan. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. And fucking in honor of that, because he's the reason really that you're here. That we're all here, really. <sighs> there he is. That was at the beginning of his laziness, I reckon. Uh, he could still say a few words and shit. You can see how lazy he is. Just for those listening on Spotify, we're holding up an image of Stephen Hawking's and a truly great man. But yeah, the, the laziness just sent him to hell and now he's a demon. Well, he's gone now, Matt. You made sure of that. In honor of... That's why we got a picture of him, just to honor it, I think. Matt? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you probably should be sorry. Holy fuck shit. That was... So you and Julian... Whoa. Tag team. Wow. Wow. You, you know that he's like one of our heroes, right? Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. He's on the van. Yeah, he's on our car. Our only asset in life. The van's called him. Steve Van Hawking. Uh, yeah. Sorry. You should... Oh, fuck. Uh, we should feel bad about that. Sorry. Well, you yeah, shouldn't I, do that to him. Sorry. I do feel bad about that. That's well earned. Yeah, you said sorry. That's good. Oh, okay. You apologize. Sorry. All right, sweet. All right. Well, moving right along, eh? All right, guys. We're doing Lying to Lockie right now. It's during the day. Um, we haven't actually started the podcast because this is the only time of the day that we can do it. It's been a mad rush. We're going to basically get the guy who sold Lockie his car to call Lockie and say that his car is actually a stolen car and Lockie needs to return it. That's the lie we're going to go with. Here we fucking go. <clears throat> Hey, buddy. Joey, we you are live on the podcast right now, dude. Holy fucking shit. This is fucked, cunt. This is, there is so much riding on this. I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> so, so, I love you, dude. So Joey um, is going to call Lockie now. We'll merge the calls. And if once Joey convinces him that the car is stolen, then we all jump in. Hopefully he fucking answers. If he doesn't answer, I'm just going to snap my own head. <laughs> <laughs> He right. yeah, has rejecting a lot of my calls lately, mate. I'm really worried. Oh, for, well, I messaged Jackson. Jackson's with him, so hopefully, um, so don't say, um, oh, I tried to get a hold of Jackson or anything. Just yeah, wait. I reckon if that's the case, then maybe we call Jackson, and then Jackson just randomly puts you on loudspeaker, and no, Lockie's it's, in the background. It's too much. Jackson doesn't know what's going on. We won't have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead. I'll with call the- Lockie and just say I'm, I'm, I'm worried to tell Jackson he's got a lot on his plate with the house and stuff like that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. See, Joey knows what he's doing. All right, Joey, you fucking add him in, and here we go. We got him. All right. <sighs> Fuck, I hope this works, the fucking technical Shh. issues. Yeah, it's all right. He hasn't even called yet. We, we go on hold first and see. Please. Please work. Please. Hello. How are you, Mr. Komodo? What's going on, Lachlan? All right, so just drive. What are you doing? Mate, I'm just calling 
Um, I had a call earlier. It seems we've had a little fuck up with this car. Yeah. The Black Range Rover. Mm-hmm. Um, mate, we probably have missed one of the checks, and it turns out the car is actually on the stolen registry. What's stolen? Stolen. Too bad the car's fucked. They can have it back if they want, but <laughs> not fucked now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the process from here is basically they recover the car and then it's a bit of a nightmare process to get some money back. So... Well, mate, you're paying up, eh? <laughs> we'll come <for> you. <laughs> I just thought I'd like call you oh, because like, what the hell? How, how long did that car been gone for? Like, yeah. well, I don't know, man. It's just been going through the process, and so I think like because you know they got a hold of us as the dealer who sold it, and basically said like you know they're going through a court process and trying to recover the car. Well, the fucking car looks pretty bad, so they can have it. Well, how about we take it off you, Lockie? Because you've been lied to, you fucking idiot, Lockie. You stupid fuck. Fucking God. Yes. Lockie. We got you. Oh, my God. You got Godfrey, Godfrey. You got done, cut. You just got done, cut. <laughs> yeah. How are you even thinking of these people? I didn't even know you knew fucking John. <laughs> Lucky, I told you, Lachlan, don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone in your life anymore. It's over. <laughs> give in, give in. Oh. Give in? What do you mean, give in? Just, just whatever your temptation is. <laughs> oh. I was a bit upset that you said the car shit. I was like, oh man! I, just... <laughs> I was like, mate, I fucking sold you that car, and now everyone knows. <laughs> no, the fucking what just happened to the car? I was like, this is not Samoto Prestige calling. <laughs> I think you guys just no, crashed out. it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's bad. Oh, yeah. oh man, Joey, well done, buddy. You fucking had him hook, line, and sinker. You, you fucking did it, man. It. Oh. And Lockie, oh my <laughs> God, we ass. warned you, man. You Don't stupid, believe anything, man. Ass. Nothing is real. Yeah. Oh, that's my. I'm so sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was the best part of the day. Oh, oh I'm glad that's done now. Oh. We can we can finally get on with the rest of the podcast. Yeah, smoke yeah. some weed can now. Relax. Jo- just sort of. Yeah, Joey, thank you so much for your time, mate. And Lockie... No, you're stressing yourself out, boys. No, really. You're just aging yourself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking worth it. Man. Enjoy, boys. All right, Joey. Thank, Joey. You, thank you, Joey. And Lockie, we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll see you later, Lockie. Fucking hell, man. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye. We did it! We did it! Oh, oh, we did good. say James has said before we were like I don't think and I had a feeling too I didn't yeah, think he I, was going to go nah, for it I didn't think he got Dude, I, at him yeah because it's too obscure a connection yeah he I, didn't he realize he that we knew him to, yeah exactly mm. and it's like such a like because Joey's like a business like associate a like professional a, you know like he's it's yeah it's, it's like a working yeah. relationship more than like they don't like hang out on weekends mm. so I thought that would be perfect angle to go in because he mm. wouldn't be expecting that right no. Would he? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, fucking bong break cunt. Holy oh. shit, we've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. And we'll get your dress ups done too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, fucking let's 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 fucking get, let's get Bachelor Brown up and flying. Oh. All right, <coughs> Hang on, one sec. How do I get out of this, James? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring her in now. No, it's not because I've been watching <laughs> the front. <gate. laughs> I tricked you. Oh, I tricked you, Matt. Oh. We've been getting people on the last two weeks, and we had Isla on last week, but we have another phone date set up for you this week, Brown Town. I've been watching the gate the whole time. <laughs> I've just been sitting down. Just, and like, remember, waiting. we've got the new Requifton, whatever its name is, H something. 
if you don't find one, but you will find one. Yeah, oath you will find one, dude. All right, look, we have. It's let's, always good to have a backup plan. Let's. Yeah. Um, did you send that flillies? Oh, yep. Here we go. All right. So her name is Katie. By the way, Bachelor Brown. For those who don't know, this is a segment where Michael and I have taken it upon ourselves to find Matt a life partner because Matt can't do it. He's been. He's shown that now for the last forty-five years. He cannot be trusted I'm to not- find a partner. All right, so now we're stepping in because I'm not letting you get to 50 years old here on Earth years and not you have you fucking single fucking following us around. It's not acceptable, cunt. And now you live in a big, beautiful home. You have another piece to add to your trophy. See? Yeah, well, imagine you with the family here. Me and Isla. Oh, he's just saying that because he's... Look, you're nervous. I get it. So this... Look... You, you want to know how to become comfortable with something? Do it over and over and over again until you are comfortable. Like right? fishing. You love fishing. You were I'm so fine. scared about fishing, man. No, 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 you no, love no. it. I'm fine with going on no, dates and doing stuff. But when you throw it onto the podcast and it involves you two, everything goes We left the for a bit. You didn't leave. You went to the other side of the room. Look, we've given you every chance possible. You you have this. this you are filled with hate. Yeah, okay, you don't, you're failing to see how we're trying to help you and we're organizing dates for you every week. Every week there's a potential for you to find happiness. <laughs> say sorry again. No, not for this one. All right. Anyway. Sorry. This is this is torture. Anyway. Well, I reckon oh, this is not, this could well, be look, Katie could be the it. one, dude. I'm I'm calling no, right Katie's now. gonna cop it. I'm calling her right now. Oh, She's gonna get him out. It's not ringing. Sorry. Uh oh. There we go. Um, I don't think right. I can do. I'm not ready. Hello. Hello. Is it? Am I speaking with uh, Katie here? You are. Yes. Hello, Katie. Um, I, oh, you're speaking with Marty, and you're on the uh, Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. Um, and sitting to my left, I have the very charming, very sexual, sensual Mr. Matthew Gregory Brown, and he is very interested in conversing with you to see if there is some sort of chemistry where you can come together later and have a bit of a fuck. Whoa! You can't <laughs> say that to people. Oh yeah, that's why you come in and here we go. Good luck, man. Hello, Katie. How are you? <laughs> what an idiot! Let us speak. Sorry. How are you? I'm good. I'm just cringing at what was just said to you. <laughs> oh, it's not that crazy, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she wants that. Maybe. Where are you from, Katie? Um. So I am actually from Stanford in Brisbane. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's like fucking close. Dude, she's up the road, bro. Feel the deal, bro. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> oh, ask her if she wants to come see the house. No, ask her if she wants to come see the pool. No, I'm not doing ask that. Ask she wants to come see the pool. <laughs> Tell her you own a pool. Say you own a pool now. Say, oh, I own no, yourself. stop. Say that, Katie. What made you come on here? Um, you know, just thought I'd. Give it a go. I'm not looking for anything too serious, so I thought this could be a bit of fun. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you a mum, Katie? I am not. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brown! Nothing- Brown! There'd be nothing wrong if you were a mum. But um, how old are you? I'm 28. Okay, cool. Um, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Um, so I'm in beauty therapy. I'm so sorry for that. Matt, Matt. just stop. That was that was just Matt. He, just was not me. he likes to fart in mic. Oh, Are you okay with that, Katie? <laughs> that is He's disgusting. disgusting. Matt farts. Matt just stood up and farted oh. in the microphone because he's getting all excited and creamy. Because oh, he said God. you didn't want anything serious, he got really excited. <laughs> <laughs> if that was Matt, then that's okay. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Keep talking, Matt. This it, is going so well. Come on. If we were going to hang out for the first time, what would you want to do? Oh! oh, oh he's asking you oh. if you would. Well, I like going to the sushi bar, the Tokyo Roll. That's probably one of my favorite places to go. So we'll probably meet up there. Fish. In the sushi. Sanford Village. Fish. In the village. Oh, Sanford Village, yes. Yeah. And then what would happen? We'd have sushi. Have sushi, see how it goes. Maybe have a bit of sake if they have it. A few drinks, and then 
Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> What would you suggest, Matt? I would suggest that we <sighs> tell her what tell her what's in your heart. We find out later what happens. <sighs> well, if and you, these two if will you be very mysterious. If you had to predict though, Matt, how do you see it oh, ending? I've no idea. Mint. <laughs> oh God. Oh wow. um, So I'd say you guys are now officially together. <laughs> Look, come on. Try it out, Matt. So so Katie, um, so you you guys should go on a date then, right? Yeah, I mean, you said you had a pool, right? So if you get sushi takeaway and then go to your pool. Oh, I have a swim in the it's pool. Working, it's working. It's a bit he cold, the though. He owns the pool. Tell you Never what. too cold. He owns the house. He owns the pool. Say you own the house. Say I own the pool. Just say it, man. I own the pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's... You own the pool? <laughs> Apparently. Yes. No, yes. Confident. Say confident. Confident. Sorry, yes. Very impressive. Oh, see, see, holy see, shit! See, you see, impressed her. See, dude, come on, man. No, right, stop. Right, just stop. No, 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 no. We'll okay. Go. We haven't done this for a while. Katie, would you be down? No, I'm not doing kisses across <laughs> okay, the microphone. Right, what about just a feel up? You feel her up a bit. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, no, you get, just like to touch her bum and tits. No, I'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh, bro. Bro. You've green never light. been given you that. Have the green light. In three bro. seconds. Pretend it's happening, and you got to do the hands, Brown. Oh, I can't both do anything. Three, two, two one, one, go! Come on, Brown! Yeah, yeah. Brown! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah! Go, Brown! Go, Brown! Oh, 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 that's too much, man! It's oh, the fucking first date. God, too far. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking disgusting. I'm so sorry, oh, oh. Katie. Fighting into oh. the mic and breast groping <laughs> is not okay on the first date. Oh, wow, Jesus. that that was entertaining to watch, though. Well, thank you. Very anyway, good. Anyway. Okay, so it's a shame that wasn't there. Next yeah. time it may be. Maybe she, next time. Sanford is just down the road. At the pool. Which means. And Sanford is very close, actually. Oh, it's, it's, it's not far away. I can and see it. You own the pool. Right now. Yeah. You own the pool, Brown. This means, I reckon, now if Brown is to message you or you message Brown, Katie, on Instagram, we go from there. It's Matt Brown with four, four zeros? Four or ones. Four Matt ones. Brown 1111. Yeah, so maybe um, message him on Instagram and, and see if there's a connection there. And, and I'll, we highly recommend going on a date before before disregarding this. See if there's an actual chemistry there. And you, the only mm. way to do that properly is to meet in person, Matt Brown. Katie, do you even use Instagram? I do, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll give, is that name. okay if I give um, your number to Matt? Oh, she can Absolutely. Follow me. She can follow me on Instagram. All right, I'll, 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 we'll see how it goes. Look, I'll send you Matt's number, actually. No, That'll be better. Don't no, give out my <laughs> number to people. <laughs> anyway, this no. means Matt, it's for your own Isla book. is now officially in trouble. So you've got some juggling to do. It sounds like you could be in the top five here, which is pretty Ooh. exciting, Katie. Yeah, very excited. What can I do to get in the top three? I, th- I think coming over to see the pool would be a good start. Which Matt owns. I, I just that sounds hate. very good. I'll I'll bring the sushi over. <laughs> That's so good. Sounds good. Thank you so much for your time today and the good luck with your Matt. We meet, wish you nothing but the best for the future. Matt is very maternal. He's always holding a baby, something to consider. Um, anyway, uh, good luck and hopefully we'll see you soon. We might be seeing you regularly all the time because you guys are, you know, seeing each other together. I'll we'll keep an eye out in the village for you. <laughs> oh, you do go to Sanford Village now and then. All right. Thank you, Katie. Oh, wait. One last thing from Math- Matthew. Matthew, stop. stop. Fucking Matt. stop that, stop Matt. Matt. Stop, Matt. Fuck, sorry. Oh, he doesn't. He, so it's sort of hot. Some people are in. Maybe you can see the sexy God, side of it. Matt, that's Brown, so, that it's weird. too much, Matt. Seriously. <laughs> can't wait for this to be over. All right. Well, yeah, thanks, same. Katie. We will talk to you soon and find out about the Brown. And see you, me. Katie. It was good meeting you. Bye, Katie. Love you. Thank you. Matt see does. you. Matt, Matt loves you. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Do a little shimmy. A little relationship shimmy. Come on, Matty. Do a little shimmy. Come on, just a little shimmy, man. She lives at Sanford. She wants to see a pool. That's a you shimmy. You own that pool. Oh, there's so many more of these to go. I'm this is exciting upset. because this is easy. She said she doesn't want it serious. She's. You don't have to be a dad. You can, don't have to do anything. You can just be like... You're going to miss it's this. Sanford. You're going to miss this when it's gone. You, I know you No, saying, I'm not. There's, I'm only ten, there's only 10 left and then we pick the winner to move in with you here. And, no. and look, look there's, there's, once you're... If none of this works, Matt... And give it a year, you will be fucking missing and regretting not making the most of this. Like you will be missing. There'll be like a search for you. Yeah. We don't know where you are. I'm not. You're not. Having anyone move in. And we'll, okay. We'll see. We're getting a tire swing. 
Yeah, well, okay. The one Tyson. Tyson. Maybe they're going to live there. And there is the the have den. All right, guys. Um, weird brick thing. Moving, yeah. moving <laughs> along. That was Bachelor Brown, everyone. Holy fuck! It's getting. I feel it's like you got to. You felt someone up yeah, there. Yeah, that was a bit much in the farting. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, very, very good. She thinks uh, I was Matt that did. That. <laughs> <laughs> if she watches the show. She knows it was you. No, no. She probably. Oh, well, it did. We listen. made. We were acting well to make it sound like that was you. Did she message in and want to be on here? Oh yeah, she's been messaging for a long time. And really? We thought she's we because we vet every, we get hundreds. You of don't weigh it up. Shit. Yeah, we, we weigh check up. them up. You we don't check vet them anything. Out. We make sure that they're, make sure they're it's compatible. Appropriate. And that, that it's someone we can see having a future with you. Fucking hell. Fucking liar. We so most of the eighteen-year-old like models, yeah, we turn away because like they're not serious about it. They just want a one-time thing. Yeah. And yeah, it's like and this no, one's not serious, not, but like that's exactly what I want. Oh, oh Matt. Well, well no, she did say she doesn't want anything single. too serious. That's why you're single. And because you want 18 year old models. <laughs> so you want ch- you want good looking children. That's basically what you're saying. You just said that. <laughs> you just said it. It's like remember being spelt the same backwards. Guys, we're we're gonna table this we're we're running a bit late, so we're gonna table the screaming segment for next week, okay? Screaming segment will be back. We'll do it with the Misfits Minds boys, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Quickly. Um all right, so moving right along. First of all, we have the cow, right? And this is a segment called Comment of the Week, where we pick the best comment from last week's video and we cut it out and we stick it on a board. And if if this is you if you get comment of the week, you're in the running to win another thousand dollars. So it's a different comment competition. Okay. So what we're trying to say is just comment a lot. This week's comment of the week is. Some people have said that. Um, is this the comment? <laughs> that the person who made this comment is actually me, but it's not. He's a real person. Oh. Anyway, partly winning. The cow is because of the high volume of likes as well as um, not a bad comment. Sorry. I'm very excited. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. um, so Donut Films has done it again. Of course he And he's the man. first person to make cow twice. Wow. So he's got a- So it is possible to make the cow twice. Imagine. Yeah. It, dude, it's he's, he's chances of winning $1,000 are quite high. Yeah. Not Higher to mention- anyone else's at the moment. So Donut Films- Whose real name is Fly Lie? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I didn't know Matt Brown was allowed to be within ten meters of a woman." In referring to Isla. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you you don't. You've changed. You've, he's a reformed man. That he, was the highest liked comment. <laughs> how many likes? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Tell me your old check. Sixty-six. <laughs> Wow, that's fucking <laughs> one ironic. six away from the devil's numbers. Um, well, fuck. There you go. Donut Films always contributing. Thank We've you. Still Donut got Films. your piss is somewhere up there, by the way. Yeah, it's still there. Donut Films. And also, yeah, he's fucking. Um, what was I gonna say? Behind Disco Stew. Um, yeah, he's very, got a two in chance, like a two in thirty-eight chance. So a one in nineteen. A one in nineteen chance of winning Fly La La La. A thousand dollars. Plus, he's commented on just a video heaps of times, so he's got that thousand. Well done, Donut King. All right, now we move on to the questions. <laughs> and these are the these. Oh. You, if you comment, if you comment your question on the Marty and Michael fully actual YouTube channel, we will answer the most liked ones first. So once you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the ones you want us to answer. Right? If we don't answer it, comment it again next week, and the next week, and the next week, and the next week, and we'll eventually we will get to it. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, highest like question. Bye! Break. We'll be right idea. back with questions. Sorry, man. I just realized, and I like to be so fucked up for questions. <laughs> questions, yeah, but it's I'm the worst know. because you guys take so long to answer them. Yeah, it's fun. And then you never get through them. And then people get angry because you don't. Answer-
Yeah, the last bit. Was that? How long did it go the for? The whole time you were out there, then, dude. The whole time you were out there, man. Oh, <laughs> even Brown started laughing. Are we talking like ten seconds? Get your microphone. Oh, even uh, Brown started laughing. That's oh how you man, know it was. <laughs> um. Anyway, questions, man. Let's fucking hear it, baby. These are the questions. We just had a a, a car park pill. <laughs> let's, see All what, right. let's see what it does. We forgot to have it at the beginning. Can you shut the fuck up and let me read the questions, you drug I addict? Sh- I sure can, Sliman. God. Sorry. All right. First question went from Reb Skell. Um, mm. Question for the poet is: more impressed or terrified about Marty's writing skills? Yeah, I don't really understand that question. My, I, I, I read. Uh, Matt's black book but Matt wrote these years ago and he was in a different state of mind you, you weren't the same beast different cells now yeah you've split and it's just creative reading you're just really good at reading them well I sort of like I just go numb and it just the like the story spirit takes of the over. book takes yeah. over it's a it's a demonic book it's not it's hot yeah it's not something you want around the house sorry it spells yeah, it's it up there with the Book of the Dead, I reckon. It is. Anyway. Next question is from our boy, again, Donut Films. He had another banger. Does Matt Brown know about the stuff Marty says about him in the recent website videos? <clears throat> you wouldn't, would you? I because would. you don't sign up. No, because the fans are dedicated and they sent me many of them. What, what did I say in the website? I don't know. You just abused me. <laughs> abuse I like what, that the color one where we're hitting each or other or were we in Sydney you were drunk in we Sydney, Sydney. you were Brown. drunk in Sydney yeah <laughs> that's oh, yeah, right that's right what did I say again? something about caring for Bosley yeah I think you start by Matt Brown's taking care of Bosley and then you just went on a on a rage about me I don't know yeah it was be- not uh, signing up mate you gotta fuck sign up mate give fuck fuck account number <laughs> man um. Next question is: Is there water in here or what? Oh my god, Matt! Where I are you? Get water. I offered it at the time. Where is it? There is none. Is there tap water? That is. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm not drinking that tap water. Are you really going Matt. to get water right now? That fucking pill is in my lungs. <laughs> I told you to take it with water. <laughs> <laughs> the car park pill stuck in. I don't throat. know how you do it without water. It's it's horrifying. I used to, to watch. get. I used to do it all the time, but then an antibiotic got caught and it burnt me. Like I had a fucking yeah. burnt me. Yeah, it was so it. Drink painful. With water. There's, there's not gonna be. There's gonna be. Look shit how long water. it takes him to run from one end to the other because we have a big house now. What did he come with? Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> that's how long it takes to go there and back. Anyway, next question. It's a question. good and bad thing. Uh, shit. Sorry. Shit, man. Next question is from Gaz V86. That's good. Question for Michael. If seeing is believing, can a blind man ever truly believe? That mm. saying's not real. Sorry. Really? It's oh. made up. No, no, that's no one actually yet said that. So it's not Because you can still see in your head if you're blind, which is the real seeing. Yeah, you've gone into great detail about that. If you want to re- listen to the beginning of the season, if you want a tr- the true C. Shit. I'm busy. Oh. <laughs> it was earlier. Yeah, the earlier episodes of this season. Sorry. It was a chapter on seeing. Next question is from Manuel Selmoron, depending where he's from. Selmoron? Selmoron. Selmoron. Dude, I'm so sorry. I butchered that name. Um, next question since Matt Gregg is moving into the new property for the team does he have to introduce himself to all his neighbours so they're aware that there is a predator moving in next door yeah, no. I don't, you don't have to do that anymore right for a while though you used to have to do that oh, well it's because that was like that you, that time when you were like 30 that was like 40 years ago so that was like you've, he's changed he's a different man now yeah it's like half your life ago <laughs> 30 years ago is half your life ago. <laughs> Isn't there just a list? They just type it in and look it up? I don't know. But Sorry. like, yeah, I saw I saw Matt like trying to fucking grab at the ho- the neighbor's horse today. Paul trying to like grab and sexual it. It had a little bite at you. It didn't mind me. <laughs> he was trying to sexual it. He was sexually good. Yeah, you, you're being all sexual at it. <laughs> 
pause. Oh. Next question is from Jennifer Walter. Uh, will Matt retire having once he marries and has children with Isla or will he pass his knowledge to his new bride and little Browns? You know what? One day, if you ever have kids, you're probably going to want to do Bachelor Brown for them because you love them so much. No. We'll get and your then, kid in like, yeah, when you have a kid, when it's like 18 tw- years old. Leave my kid alone. We'll get it married. If you want, Matt. Not to you, though. <laughs> you stay out of it, mate. Next question is from MV. Michael appears to be a very picky eater, at least a guy that eats shit. For, at least for a guy that eats shit. What are three of Michael's favorite foods? Because you are a pretty picky eater. Oh, nothing compared to what he used to be. Yeah, he used, used to be bad, but yeah, it's like he used to be as bad with eating as you used to be with your with your hunting and shit. And you've both completely changed. But you you can talk him out of food pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's easy because because Michael, it's all psychological. He will hate or like a food before he's even tasted it. Or and if he hates a food before, if you hate a food, if you decide this food I'm about to eat is disgusting. It more than likely will be. You must have a clear mind when tasting something new. Like yeah, shit. but you can. You, I can like things, and you can change my Mark, opinion. Yeah, Michael, what do you do? Because you're very shit. visual. Michael likes mm. to look at the visualness, and it, if it doesn't look right, then it's easy to get into Michael's head. Oh, yeah. but anything meat related, Marty can dig into my brain, yeah, and I just it makes like to me remind just him that it's flesh torn off of an animal's bone. Oh. oh. Yuck! How how do you eat shit though? <laughs> oh, that's fine. You just channel it that it's just shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, but the thing he doesn't do, eat the gross shit because he, he like he's hungry. He just eats that because he wants to it's get like a, a dare. So you yeah. do it. Yeah. But like eating something. If I okay, best favorite three things is Amber's nachos. Oh, they one. are good. I've had those. They're like oh, the best thing in the world. Amber's pizzas a second they're good I've had those too and third would be I'd say probably Amber's Indian sort of burgers it's all Amber's food Amber's Indian wraps oh I haven't had those curry curry wraps can I come when you have those one night she's here now Amber you looked hey babe lied to Next question is from Stephen Hunt Um, have you boys ever considered doing a collaboration with the inspired unemployed oh yeah we I think our uh uh, <laughs> style is it's quite um, confronting dark and shocking whereas they're they're very you know they're funny boys they're very um you know commercial you know they, they could go on radio easy you know they, they appeal to the masses we appeal to the d- degenerates and the fucking the individuals and the fucking outcasts the ringworms the ringworms exactly. All right, and final question because we are running over time. Um, it comes from Loves a Dart. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, question for the podcast. If Marty and Michael were to adopt a child, what would they call it? Scale. Pockle. <laughs> Scale Pockle. <laughs> Scale pockle. Scale pockle. <laughs> I love that. I feel like I would love the kid. I honestly would. Yeah. Scale. Imagine, because you can do all that DNA shit where you just mix. Imagine if they mixed our DNA and then made a kid. And it was, just, and it just, it only scale ever said pockle. scale pockle. <laughs> Dude. We should buy a kid. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. Dude, we should adopt a kid for a video. And no, no, and then they we'll can live with it, Brown. We'll set it free. <laughs> no, then, no, I don't know about that. Okay. Well, if the mum's here, if we've got like, you no, know, you Katie don't, you or don't get the mum. <laughs> you get the kid, you don't get the mum. No, we but we'll find a, a Bachelor Brown. Dude, if we went to like a third world country, I'm sure we could adopt no, a No, no, I'd say we don't, we don't just take a third world country kid. Let's get... I build our own one in a lab and you can pay to have kids these days oh, yeah, okay all right all three sperm and we'll put out no, no we'll get we'll get one sperm each and we'll cut them into thirds and then you glue them together and then inseminate and it can be the fully actual kid we'll have it like i don't know do the camera work and shit yeah it can be the cameras <laughs> sounds pretty fucked all right all right well i reckon i'll do it i'm just yeah, saying i thought Man, you just, might come I, around i wonder what the kid would be like It'd be very interesting. I'd have a really long neck, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'd have really clean hair like Michael's. <laughs> Michael's just washed his hair. I washed it for this episode. It'd have Matt Brown's um, 
Stigma. Ne- never give up attitude. Shut up. Sorry. All right. Moving on. Is that questions done? Yep. Uh, should we wait till we have a bit more PO box? It's like depressing to look at. Just one oh, I haven't, s- fuck. cylinder thing. You haven't gone there in a while, have you? Well, oh, right. We it's might been have. been like, yeah, two All weeks. All right. Well, next actually. week, look, we'll do PO box next week because we've got some shit. Um, all right, guys. Well, we're gonna ch- we, we were going to do call as Margaret and call the place that Darren um, put his reference down as last week to get a job, but um, we realised that number is on the other phone, so we're just going to call a, a random and say Margaret is going to sorry call a random and demand the information from the uh, reference. So it's like a tale of two stories. Yeah, so Margaret's wanting to hire this guy, right? But she's checking his references. And this is one of the references he's put down. Fuck. What's going to happen, I wonder? No, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi. Can I help? Hello, how are you? Um, look, my name's uh, Margaret. I'm uh, currently working uh, for uh, Function and Friends in the city. Um, and we've got um, uh, one of our people who's applied for a job here. He's put you guys down as a reference. Um, who, who would be best to speak to about that? Um, I can put my boss on if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much, darling. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, it's great to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my name is store manager here. What like, can I get? Yeah, yeah, g'day, mate. Um, my name's Margaret. Um, I'm um uh, working for a uh, company in the city, and one of the applicants for a job here has put his uh, reference out as you guys. So I was just wanting to uh, check him as a reference. Would you have a few minutes available for that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Who is that? Great. So his name here says he's Darren Thompson. Yeah. Oh. Darren. Darren Thompson? Thompson, yeah. T H O M P S O N. Yeah. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea who it is, but uh, I've been running the store for the last couple of months, but I haven't had any person working in that right, name. Right, right. Look, he said he um he did finish up there um at the beginning of the year. So you may not have been there. Uh, no. So, no, so so you haven't heard anything about this Darren Thompson? No no, no nah. one said anything negative about him at all. He's he's Nothing. Written, He's written here that he can speak three languages. Um, is, is that correct, or...? I have no idea who it is, actually, first of all. Right, right. Um, was he... Um, probably. Ever, was you, can, you might need to call him again and check, check, uh, change the reference number, probably. I don't have no that, idea who yeah, it is. Look, I, I can hear you, mate, okay? Just just listen for a second, okay? Was he ever late? Did he arrive late to work? Or was he on time? Oh, ah! oh. We'll have to do another one. I don't know. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, he's wrote three, store, the three stores that he worked at. This is just the first one. So, okay. so there's came, two more I, options. I came on a bit too strong then. No, it was good. It's necessary. I like hearing. Because then if they know that you have spaz outs at the beginning, then they might be more tolerant of you having. Yeah, you're more. right. All right. I'll spaz out at the start a bit more, man. But not is that what you want? Really, just yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, how are you, darling? Uh, my name's Margaret. Um, I work for uh, Function and Flun in the city, um, and I've got a, an applicant here looking for a job, and he's actually put your guys down, uh, your store, down as a reference. Uh, would I be able to check that reference, if that's okay? Um, sure. Would you like to check back in an hour or so? That would be perfect. Uh, is there the manager available or anything uh, if I can speak to you now? It'll only take two minutes of your time. That's me. Oh, you're the manager, darling? Oh. I am, yeah. So are you guys quite busy, are you, at the moment? Yeah. We are a little yeah. bit, yeah. Well, it's good to see everyone supporting small business still. No, that's great to see. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, um, look. Um, his name's um, his name is Darren Thompson, and he said he worked for you guys for over eight months. Just confirming that uh, a Darren Thompson worked at your store. Man, the yelling really scares them. Yeah, dude, it scares me. It's a beautiful thing. It's sort of like it's 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 energy, baby. <laughs> it's cl- energy. Oh yeah. All right. 
Did it you? doesn't matter, Brown. Just, just be like, did you? Just just like, no, She'll hang up straight away again. <laughs> oh, hello? Is that you? Yes, it is. Yeah, look, um, I think we got disconnected there, darling. I, we must have, yeah. Yeah, so um, listen, do you have a spare just two minutes? I've just got a few more questions about a, a Darren Thompson. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right, so uh, look, look, look at this, okay? Look, he's written down here that he worked for you guys for eight months. Is that correct or? Hello? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he worked for us for eight months, yep. Great, all right, look, um, how was he as an employee? Would you say he was um, on time? I would say he, yeah, he was excellent. Great, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, very good. Uh, were you aware of his criminal history or? Yeah, yeah, right. drug dealing. Drug dealing, was it? Yeah, but who hasn't, you oh, know? right. Well, that's actually not what he's got written here. He's actually got... Oh, no, what did he tell you? He's just said uh, common assault, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, that's actually oh, concerning. Well, uh, it's, it's actually quite sad because um, Darren it, was actually... It might be front- linked, actually. Uh, just listen for a second, okay? Darren was oh, actually, sorry, my da- bad. Darren was actually a front runner, okay, for this job that he's applied for, and it's quite, yeah. a, a, quite a high position, uh, okay? It's, yeah. it's quite, a, quite a way up the corporate ladder. So it's a real, mm-hmm. sh- a real shame that um, he's put something like that down. Um, listen, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to have to double check with my boss here and see if we can still hire him! And if that's the case... I'm may call you back and get some more details. <laughs> no worries. All right, look, darling, I may call you back tomorrow or um, I may not. But um, thank you for being so um, upfront and honest with me because, um, yeah, honestly, you've probably saved me quite a, uh, quite, me and uh, a couple of the human resources ladies, quite a headache there. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. No worries, darling. Okay, well, you enjoy your night, okay? <laughs> I will, thank you. <laughs> I thought that that was like a fucking demon. That is (laughs) fuck. The breathing. That's going to be the strangest (laughs) phone call to explain to anyone. She was so oh, she knew. beautiful she about it. They obviously knew it was a prank call. See, that's the problem with Margaret sometimes. If you she, yell too early, they they catch on. She tried to turn around on us, but then we turned her back around on her she again. She is a drug dealer. Oh. Yeah, she's into it. Yep. Maybe. I like her. Bachelor Brown. Bleep her name, though, Connor. Oh, yeah, bleep her name. Bleep Sorry. her name. We have to bleep her name. Bleep her name. Bleep her name. <sighs> um. Anyway, guys. That brings us to the end of episode 27. We got a fucking banging episode coming next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also five stars on Spotify. Oh, we got oh, over yeah. a thousand. We got like 1.1K five star review. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Sorry. So that's good. How many? Is that like high? I yeah. think so. Yeah. What were we on like a bit ago? Like, like, like 800 yeah, or something? Yeah, something like that. Wow, that's hot. So yeah. if you haven't, do that. Yeah, and please. How much we go up next yeah. week? Yeah, we're and top. We're top podcast in Brisbane now. Bullshit! You're lying. Actually, I'm taking a guess. Read him the statistics. Hey, did honest. you just make that up? Yeah, but we've got to be. You made me so happy for a second. <laughs> no, but we've got to be look, up there. Things are going well. Yeah, this, this, we've got to be up there in the this top of Brisbane. This community is growing, and I'll tell you why. We are all connected with a, the same sense of humor. There, there is, if you listen to this and you laugh at our shit, there's a very strange sense of humor. That's how we all became friends, through humor. And that's what we've built this community around, the same fucked up sense of humor. And that's a beautiful thing, cunt. We're all best friends. Next time I see a podcast listener in the street, we can just be as weird as we want. Oh, dude. <laughs> we can do that, because I understand. Yeah, well, they we know literally had Rhino. Fucking, yeah. that was so fun with him. Oh, yeah, how did Rhino? Go oh on. man, very well, brilliant. We had a website member f- come and film a video with us. Anyway, that'll be out soon. 
Uh, thank you so much for listening and don't forget to do all the fucking shit that we said, Khan. Um, like, yeah, comment, subscribe. Manscaped. Like, comment, subscribe. Five star review on Spotify. I Fuck. miss you, Isla. Um, there you go. Someone screen record that and send it to her Instagram, please. <laughs> and like, and like, maybe <laughs> edit it so you repeat it. I miss you, Isla. I miss you, Isla. I miss you, Isla. I miss you, Isla. That would be awesome. Yeah, really. Let's like, actually, let's freak the fuck out of her and fully just flood her with that. I miss you, Isla. I miss you, I miss you, Isla. I miss you, Isla. I miss you, Isla. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Oh, you don't even have to that. do what we said. It's there. Exactly. Should I do a slow one? I miss you, Isla. Yeah, keep going, Matt. Please, someone. I miss you, Isla. He misses you. He misses you. I miss you, Isla. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That made me feel sick. Yuck. Oh, I feel sick. I'm man. upset that I did it. Oh. I'm upset that I did it. Send it to Isla. Anyway, love you, dog. See you next week. We're the best. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.